entail, Katie? Well, I mean, it's it's something that's semi-necessary anyway, because we have the Equality Act. So a diversity manager, one of their roles at work is to ensure that their workplace is in compliance with the Equality Act, um, helping to make reasonable adjustments. And in fact, I'll, I'll steal a phrase um, from the current government, because one aspect of making reasonable adjustments helps us to create meritocracy, but through a levelling up but of the word that I would say that is necessary and that diversity managers do, which is making sure that there is opportunity, equal opportunity of access for all. And then in our, in our hiring biases, which we have to admit we all have, because if, you know, if we're given a choice, we all hire people that look like us, feel like us, share many of the same views and values us because we're most comfortable working with people like us. So to, in order to have workplaces that do reflect our society and also provide, you know, role models for people from different groups in society to consider entering those professions, we do need to see people like us, but people who are like the different us as well. well and hang so on, the, the Casey, hang on. do exist. Yeah. What people watching this will be saying, you know, hard pressed taxpayers, you know, we're facing a national insurance increase where funding is for the NHS is actually stretched and there are massive waiting lists on the NHS at the moment because of the pandemic. And people will be saying, why should we be hiring people who essentially want to relentlessly focus on the identity, on the immutable characteristics of people who they're potentially going to hire when we need more doctors, we need more nurses, we need more X, Y and Z, and more police on the streets? They'll be saying that these jobs actually are just the jobs pushed by a woke elite and we need to do away with them. Well, actually, if you go back to kind of, uh, the, the, you know, the recession and the crash of 2008, 9 and 10, even before the, the Equality Act, it was actually diversity roles that are one of the, the first jobs to be cut. And certainly in a recession, they are an easy cut. I think less so now people are considering that because actually it's, it's drawing extra jobs from diverse communities that will potentially plug the gaps in our NHS and our other roles in society. Where we have a shortfall of jobs, we need to consider other people um, who may have some barriers to accessing those jobs and who may not have considered those jobs because of the perception that that is a white job, that's a male job, that's an able-bodied job or whatever it might be. So right. actually having diversity managers, you can promote them to communities you wouldn't previously have considered those jobs actually opens up a larger workforce and a larger pool of workers. So I can guess what you're going to say, Katie, but keep, uh, scrap rather, reform or keep. You're going to say keep, aren't you? No. No? What are you going to say? Like to surprise people a little bit. I do believe in constant reform. I don't reform. believe that at any stage we should rest on our laurels of thinking, that diversity well is, is i'm saying i'm saying work. scrap i'm afraid i think this is wackery and walkery but katie john went a diversity inclusion facilitator thank you very much